Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas to you, my beautiful members of the SCC family, Sandra and Cook. Thank God for a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful end of the year. So guys, hope you are doing well and um, welcome, welcome again to my kitchen. Today, I'm just going to be showing you how I season my Christmas turkey, all right? How I, sh how I season it. So, I've got a few ingredients and then my giant turkey, guys. It is turkey because Christmas we eat so much and you want something with minimum amount of fat, okay? And I think turkey is the way to go. So, let's get seasoning, guys. We are, guys, to season a giant turkey. Mm -mm -mm. Guys, I'm excited. It's Christmas. Yay! So, these are the ingredients, okay? Let's quickly go through them and then that seasoning or marinating our turkey all right so i'm using these are the only two um frozen ingredients i have right so i have basil i have parsley i have this in my freezer so there was no point buying any um fresh ones they're still fresh obviously when frozen is still fresh a large size sliced onion i have here about 12 to 15 kilos of garlic i love my garlic a lot especially when it comes to these um beds have my salt two tablespoons have a cup of um, extra virgin olive oil four tablespoons of soy sauce the dark one half year two tablespoons two and a half tablespoons of um, black pepper corns about five thumb size if no more of ginger it depends on your size of turkey guys so it depends on your size of turkey. I'm doing a giant one and I love this as well. Obviously, or oh, apparently, uh, gingers help with digestion, all right? So I love it in my food. Have here my chive, right? Two last size sliced onions, again. I have here um, three medium sized carrots, my lemon. I have here my rosemary. One whole size onion, again. I have here my spring onions and my seasoning cube tablet okay so now guys what we're going to do is i'm going to now cut my lemon and then have the lemon juice all over my giant turkey so i've already rinsed it just a little rinse obviously because i'm not going to now rub it nicely with my lemon juice give it time to rest and then we wash it so nothing massive so I go ahead, squeeze my lemon juice, I'm taking the seeds out. So get all the lemon juice to this beautiful giant turkey for Christmas. Guys, I hope you guys have planned, or you're still planning your, we're you gonna know, wash it anyway, so don't bother. Still planning your Christmas. See whether you have something to do or nothing to do. We have life, so we are still having Christmas. Without life, there's no Christmas. So do not worry. If you're not able to spend this Christmas the way you would have wanted to spend it. Okay? Simply be happy and grateful for life. Better days are coming, guys. So we get them the lemon all over this turkey. My half here. I'm not going to turn the turkey. Like I said, it's just a little wash before this I'm gonna give it a proper wash after we're gonna go ahead and get the lemon juice everywhere that's it beautiful I leave the armpit and give it a good bath you go ahead and apply the same to the thighs and the drumstick make sure it enters the inside of the turkey too Beautiful lift to here. Let it in there. Give the other arm another good buff with the juice. That's it. Yeah. If you don't have the energy or the time to be squeezing it like this manually, you can use the lemon squeezer 
to get the juice out and then pour it all over it. Okay, so now that it's like this, okay, as you can see, I'm just going to start picking the baby hairs off because like I said, I haven't washed it properly. I just rinsed it so I can be able to do this and then give it a proper cleaning after this. I'm going to go ahead and blend all our ingredients for marinating and for seasoning this turkey, all right? So now whatever you see here is part of the cleaning process. Okay, this is how we do it. We're gonna keep everything, leave it here to rest, and then blend our stuff. So here we are, guys. I have my blender here, ready for the blending, blending, blending. Okay, so now I'm gonna get my beautiful chopped onions into my blender. With that goes in my frozen basil and parsley into the blender oh guys i don't know about you but me i can't wait i can't wait we thank god for 2020 guys i know it's not been so here are my chives um to some people it's been a great year to others it's been a very torrential year but either way we are so grateful all right so we're not going to use everything from here piece of that okay as a matter of fact we're going to be dropping half of our chives right leave that one there then i'm going to scrape off the baby leaves of the rosemary okay because the stem can be quite tough sometimes guys if you try blending everything you're going to get a very tough um you get the spikes of it in your marinade okay so i feel like it is ideal or it is advisable to plug them all off yeah Take your time and get them off the stem. Okay. So once I've done that, right? Get everything off the stem. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So guys, whilst we are doing this, if you love what you're seeing, go ahead and subscribe if you have not done that yet. So in goes my ginger. They got these beautiful babies, boy. Oh boy, how oh, lovely! I told you about my love for garlic. Look at that, and there it goes. This turkey is really posh, you know, having all the beautiful things to itself. Can you believe that? Yeah, peppercorns goes in too. Lovely, 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 right? So, I'm now going to add my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful extra virgin olive oil okay yeah 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 look at that so you're gonna go ahead and blend all these beautiful babies this is beautiful guys look at that smoothly blended hey look at that and the flavors, guys, the aroma from this mixture. <laughs> Somebody will say it's wicked, right? In other words, it is really lovely. So with this mixture, I'm going to go ahead and add my soy sauce, right? Ooh, boy, look at this. Mm. And then in goes my salt. Then I add my seasoning cube. Mm. Now look at this and the salt. I'm using these quantities because I'm doing the giant turkey. Okay, it's quite big. And the turkey meat itself is not, it hasn't got that much fat. So you need your seasoning to really get it going so we're gonna give this a good mix a good uh, mixing okay mixing beautifully get them all in there nicely mm -mm -mm. yeah that's it oh i'm loving this guys 
day. I am loving this. Christmas Day, as the Lord permits us, okay? Life is in God's hands. So we are told to say, if God permits, right? So if God permits, the theater work will be finished. <laughs> the turkey will be remolded to suit us. Right, let's go ahead and season. Yay! Our turkey is finally here, okay? The lemon juice has been washed. Hairs plucked, all right? I'm going to go ahead with your neatly washed hands, all right? Cleanly wash hands, or you can get some white gloves, blue gloves, whatever. Just make sure it's hygienic, okay? So my neatly washed hands, you're going to go into this. Now, let me get a good taste. Boy, oh boy. Mm, this is a killer. So, put your hands in this. And finally, rub it on this baby right give it a good rubbing leave the armpit mm. ooh la la ooh la la now what I tend to do is I give it a good set okay I give it a good set to allow me enter into the neck area I'm going to pour this into the neck of this giant turkey mm -hmm. then I lift the chest and also plant some in there nicely mm -hmm. beautifully Drop it nicely. Mm. Now, if there's any marinade left, guys, I tend to freeze it. Or if I'm doing, some people don't like the potatoes that comes with this, so I tend to use my marinade for my jollof rice stew. I freeze it for any other bed I use. Even my meat sometimes I so make sure the whole part is covered. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now guys, as you can see, it's all soaked, <laughs> proper buffed, drenched in the seasoning, alright? So what I do now is I stuff my turkey, my carrot. Okay. Stuff it in there. Also stuff it with my spring onions mm -hmm. nicely. Then I add my chives in here, and then in goes my almighty onion. There's still some space. I'm gonna go ahead and add my carrot. Mm. Beautiful. I have some rosemary left. As you know on this channel guys we do not waste anything so we scrape the plate and put everything in here beautiful 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 mm -mm. I'll start now so the last thing I do now is now infuse my onions into the main body of the turkey okay so with my sharp knife what I do is I create like holes incisions into it so I find where the meat is and make an incision. Okay. Goes down a bit. Create a hole here. Okay. 
Then I dip, I feed it with my onions. I feed the incisions with my onions. Okay. Get it in there. Get it in there. It can be sticking out. Do not worry. It's okay. Find another place. Make an incision. Yeah. Wow, that went deep. That's really good. That's going to allow me to put these beautiful onions in there. So I'm going to get them all in this holes. Nicely. Mm -hmm. Then I create a little one here. Okay. And I'll be pouring some of the marinade into this corner as well. Okay. A little bit more. Throw my onions in this corner. Get them in there nicely. Mm. Okay. Put another one here. Put it in there. Guys, you can hear how busy my street is. People are really ready for Christmas. After pandemic 2020, guys, what can we do? And be excited for a wonderful celebration. Not just the food, guys. Come on. Unto us, the sun is giving. My God, a child is born. It's all about Jesus. Hallelujah. So, yeah, the food is okay. Family gathering. We don't have it now. Okay, because of the lockdown. But hey. The main purpose and the main reason Jesus is born. Hallelujah. Okay. So I stuff it in there. So another space in here. Then I go the other side of the breast. Make my incisions. And then feed it into it as well. Okay. Get the onions into it. Feed it nicely. Entered and entered and entered and entered. That's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's throw some in here. And then the other bit, I go ahead and put it. If you can see, I lift it up like that and put my onions in the chest. Okay. This is the area that tends to be quite dry, guys, especially after a day you know, or two, it tends to be very dry. So you want to make sure your seasonings are really, or your marinade gets deeply into that area. So at least you can enjoy that bit. So get it in nicely. Let's push these people in a bit more. That's it, it don't matter. It's still going to work beautifully. So this is done nicely. Like I said, I'm going to Throw some marinade into this hole. Okay. Then I get some marinade into here. Dip it in. Dip it in. Dip it in nicely. Mm, beautiful. The other side of the hole. And get the marinade into the other side as well. Let it enter. A bit more. Come to the end <laughs> of our turkey, our giant turkey. Yay! I cannot wait, guys. I cannot wait. Okay. Ta da! Giant turkey for Christmas is ready. Guys, so our seasoning is done. Alright? So, 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 so done. We're gonna go ahead and wrap this in a clinch film. Get it in the fridge and trust God for 25th December. Hooray! Merry Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas. Long life, good health, and prosperity to all of you. From the kitchen of Sandra Can Cook, I love you guys. I appreciate you. I adore you. Thank you to my subscribers and thank you to my viewers. Take care, guys. Ciao!